All right, this one's gonna be an update on Pulse Audio Dynamic Range Compression, aka Loudness Equalizer, aka Volume Normalizer. Uh, there are different names for it, but um, if you watch my first video where I did an explanation of it, you know, it does a better job. But just to recap, basically, if you ever watch a movie, at certain times in the movie, it's gonna be really loud or really low, and this one will average it out, okay? So you don't have to waste your time adjusting the volume up and down. This is especially uh, useful if you're watching YouTube. Uh, a bunch of these assholes, they have like really loud intros or really loud outros, and they talk really softly in the middle. Um, so uh, I recommend this to everyone. But this time I want to do a little update. Like I said, um, what was that? Last time we did this, we used it just mono. This time I want to do stereo. And if you're using like the new uh, Pulse Audio 12, you might have this bug. So we'll try to solve that also. All right. So first thing you need is, uh, what is that? You need Pulse Audio, of course. You also need this um, SWH plugin. This one comes with, uh, you know, the dynamic range compression. And if you want to use a Pulse Audio volume control, there's uh, the GUI PAVU control. Or if you're using uh, the terminal, you can use NCPA Mixer, which I talked about a couple months ago. Um, and it, what else have we do here? Oh yeah, we need to set it up at auto start. So we're gonna boot up automatically and this one will load up and you know, set our uh, compressor as the default. So copy this sucker and then uh, paste it into this thing here. So how do we do that here? Pseudo and we got our code in here, right? I already did it right here. But this is our code here, right? And you can see, uh, last time we did it was we had this mono one here, but this time we're not loading the mono anymore. We're just loading this stereo here. So the only difference between them is the plugin. So with a SC4M and this one's SC4, right? And in my system, it might not be the same as yours, but in my system, I have to actually do this. I have to load up my uh, default, um, you know, audio device first. And then I can switch over to the compressor stereo here. So how do we do that? Um, the only thing that you change in here is your, you know, your default device. So here, this one here, how do you get this, uh, you know, device name here, right? Pretty easy. We're gonna use uh, what was that code? This is how you find out your, um, you know, your device audio and all that. So there we go. This is our um, our device that does a uh, audio output. So right now I can go to my HDMI if I want. I can use my wireless headset. And this one, this is my built-in um, was a uh, audio for my computer. This one is a uh, ATI soundboard, I believe. But you can see this is the name that we want to copy here, right? Um, so all you gotta do is copy that and. <laughs> put that into you know this line here right and that will be your you know your default audio first and so what it does is that when it loads this uh, script at startup um, it's gonna load this one as the default first right our built-in one and then at the end it's gonna switch over to our compressor stereo and that's how it'll be the default for all the audio uh, pretty much that's how you do that it's not really that hard and then uh, save it, and then you have to do, um, what is that? You can actually restart your your Pulse Audio right here, and then just this command here. Or you can reboot your system, whatever, however you want to do it, right? doesn't matter. So that's what will kill your Pulse Audio, and then it will reload it. Um, that's it for that. Anything else? Um, oh, yeah, if you want to, uh, let's say, switch a certain program to a different um you know audio like your headset or whatever it is you can use the pavu control or the, your um was that ncpa mixer and i'll show you that right now let's say we do a demonstration here if we play a, a song or something right although i have to mute it but if i want to uh use you know my uh, ncpa mixer here and I can switch, uh, let's say I'm using, um, what is this one, here? CMOS here, right? I can switch over, if I hit C here, to different 
device here like I can use it to my headset if I wanted to right and I can go back to that um, dynamic range compression here LA DS spa here or whatever uh, that is our um, you know uh, our loudness equalizer here and if you want to switch it that way that's fine if you want to do from the GUI let's say you don't want to use uh, certain programs with the uh, equalizer um, you can use it from the GUI here what is that one called PAVU control here same thing right you have your uh, CMOS here and you can switch over it's up to you right so either or and pretty much it that's how you would uh, manage your was that your uh, loudness equalizer from uh, the terminal or the GUI and what's the other one that we need to do oh yeah if you have pulse audio 12 it might not be an issue for you but it was for me and another person that uh, helped me out mr. Daniel T here uh, if you have you know an issue with pulse audio and this um, plugin does not load then um, you can do this here we'll do a sim link uh, using GNU Sto. so you need to have uh, Sto installed it should be in your repositories right but all you gotta do is go do this oh, what is that here we'll clear it out this one will basically sim link the missing libraries to your pulse audio and let me demonstrate out here We'll do a yeah, we'll do a relink. It's no not a problem. We'll do a relink. It's not gonna affect me right now. So it basically is gonna link uh, all the um, missing libraries to the correct folder, and then Pulse Audio should uh, you know recognize it now. So make sure you uh, restart your Pulse Audio again also after you do that. All right. So this is the full command here. Uh, if you copy the full thing, it'll actually restart your Pulse Audio. Although I don't wanna in my screencast if I do the you know killing the pulse audio but that's the thing and the good thing about sto is that if you want to delete the sim link later on uh, instead of running the same command all you gotta do is just type in uh, the dash D and this one will delete all the link uh, all the sim link I mean and you know it'll get rid of it quickly here uh, instead of using manually sim linking we're using sto to do this Anywho, that's how you fix the uh, Pulse Audio 12. I think it's only an issue with, uh, a, you know, Arch system or maybe some other ones too. Anyways, uh, that'd be it for this one. If you want to set up your dynamic range compression with Pulse Audio and, you know, have a, a loudness equalizer. And like I said, this is not by default. I wish, like, like distributions would have this um, by default. I mean, you don't have to, like, set it by default but at least have an option because i know in windows they have like an option where you just check the box and this one we gotta waste our damn time just to do this right but uh, i've been using this for three years highly recommend it if you get annoyed with stupid ass youtubers where they have like really loud sound and then you know um really low audio and then loud again this helps a lot you don't have to waste time adjusting your volume this uh, I actually recommend everyone to do this now, um, you know, try it out. I mean, if you don't like it, you can always get rid of it, but uh, I really recommend this one. Saves a lot of headaches, I'll say. Anyways, that's it for this one. Everything will be in the description show notes. All right.